after the slaughter of romance is lost, the heart sometimes finds a place to hide, an escape from the carnage and destruction, a place where feelings won't reside. We married young in that inebriation of love and libido. She was soft and a tender medicine for all the bristles and thistles I'd mastered in order to hide my vulnerable underbelly. And in that way, she saved my life, made me laugh more easily, and so I could lay down my weapons and breathe. It was not all butterflies and cotton candy. We had our little dramas, now and then, but it was never the sort of destructive mayhem I grew up with. Just the usual bumps and thumps of being two separate human beings pulling the same barge of daily life. And we always made up so lovingly. But I didn't realize my many hours cloistered with my writing, my obsession to fill pages with words, made her lonely at times. My selfish hoarding of hours, days, long nights typing away, were sledgehammering at the foundation until it became too much for her, and she left. A savage hole was torn in my reality. I spent too much time in that death march of the broken. A nomad going nowhere. No oasis for the soul. I buried myself alive. Even my friends got tired of the smell of death from my endless winter, and all contact with the human race thinned out. Finally, I was fine. Well, fine enough. I'd found a place to rest in an emotional coma, in that long sleep of disinterest. I'd moved on from the ache, the endless distraction from my normal brooding, from that gnawing yearning of the flesh, I gave up. Fuck that! I had at last determined to be done with her, to give up the pathetic torch of desire and hoping, and I built my great wall of defense. Never again. No more love traps to snare me and destroy me. I was now well protected in my inner fortress all the doors and windows of emotions nailed shut, the walls reinforced with the armor plating of calluses and scar tissue. Never thought I could lose that werewolf moon, but I did. Moved on, didn't look back. Done, finished, kaput. Check, please. Sure, at first it was hard. My head pivoted like a gunner's turret with every passing skirt. I'd go home to my fantasies and find a release in my imagination. But eventually, I slowed to a stall. Just an old wooden ship in the doldrums. Still, silent, going nowhere, indifferent.